like, if you think about, like, you know, you could very easily contain people in a hole. Most animals, too, if the hole's deep enough. Um... Oh. Whoa, okay, we're some camera. Some lizards would be a problem. They're kind of sticky. You can <laughs> climb. Mm. Fish? You can store fish in a hole. Um... Even gases, provided they're... <laughs> store fish at all. Yeah, sure, why not? Most gases, too, think about it, like... If they're heavier than air, you can you can store all kinds of gases in a hole. Why does my screen always have stuff on it? Play it off, and it just... It's always back. It It does that. All right, guess we're back. We are back. Awesome. Boy, it, it it's actually been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, I've actually only got two episodes left before I needed to get more done. That's because I finally got around to some Death Stranding uh, stuff that I hadn't done in ages. Oh, yeah. And also, I might as well just say now, for anyone watching who hasn't seen my recent streams, yes, my microphone's doing the thing again. It... Logitech did another update, it broke the audio, and now it sounds like shit. Yep. My solution uh, is wait for it to fix itself, and if that takes more than two months from when it started, I think I'm just going to get a new microphone, because I can't put up with this forever. Yeah. Okay, so... Yes. Huh. Game. Don't know why I switched... No, don't... Don't give me my power beam, I won't wave beam. Wave beam is way cooler. Alright. Oh, uh, we also just got uh, Super Missile. Right, yes, that's what we were doing. Uh, I can't remember a single... I guess I could look that up. I do have the notes after all. Okay. So that's the lock one. Okay, yep, that's Missile, right? Just... Just making sure I remember how to play here. Because, uh, yeah, it's been like well over a month, I think. I could probably check that. I'm not going to do it right now, though. Okay. Huh. There appears to be things on the other side of this door. All right, there oh, do. let's do it. Oh, oh, it's just these little things. Nah, it's anticlimactic. Very disappointing. Oh. And yeah, snails. Ow. Snail crabs. Yep, snail crabs. Anyways, notes. So... Ooh, that's... funky. Okay. Um... Oh, was there a door lock there? Yeah, just a missile door. Oh. Okay, we just have a uh, random ass elevator here. That's... That will get us to the control tower, okay? Wait, where the hell are you? Oh, yeah. Um, We are remember. infiltrating the uh, space pirate base. That is what we were doing. Yeah, and no, I remember that. Just where's this elevator in relation to the direction you came in? Uh... I, like, literally just down the corridor. That's a... Oh, okay, I didn't realize there was another door the up hallway. there. Okay, then. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, let's just keep going forward, and then we'll worry about what you need the super missiles for later. Yep, I'm sure it definitely won't be a boss fight or anything. Might not be. Probably. It might be. It's a boss. Or a mini-boss, I guess. What are these called? Uh, these are just normal space pirates. Well, yes, but I mean, like, what, what is it called when it's, like, I guess a boss fight, but it's really just an encounter with a whole bunch of enemies? Oh, never mind. Here's the boss. Uh, I think just an encounter. Oh, oh great. Well, Chip Axe. They got a pretty cool design. Okay. Flying pirate. Pirates trained and equipped for airborne assault. Flying pirates are extremely agile in air, but... The heat signature of jetpacks can be tracked with thermal imaging. While their missiles are extremely potent, their jetpacks can be even more so. If the pack fails, they will make a suicide strike. Cool. All right, well, sorry, guys. I I've got missiles, too. What? Why do they keep saying thermal vision for that? It's like, oh, you can detect them with thermal visions. Like, they're, yeah, they're, they're right kind of hard to miss. <laughs> they're... Pirates flying around on a giant jetpack shooting fire out its ass. I think I can see them without oh, thermal. Oh shit! Ow, that hurt. That hurt a bit. 
Oh, more. Hey. More friends to kill. I'm not sure about this suicide strike thing. It looks very involuntary the way they fly at you. Okay, hold on. We're trying something here. Super missile. Oh, uh, it just vaporizes them. Cool. That works. That absolutely works. Okay. Uh, Where are you? What is where this? Where am I indeed? This is just a control tower. Huh. Let's take a quick little uh, peek around to see if there's anything. Invisible wall? Oh, nothing. It's a void. Oh, we got something above here. Nothing. What? Nothing that Hang I can on a second. see currently. Let me just... Uh, yeah, artifacts. I, I know what you're... Yeah, I know. I was thinking the same thing. One there's... of the places that the artifacts is, is a tower. Interesting. What but is that? The fancy box. Wait. What is that? That's the artifact symbol. Well, they put in a Behind box? It. Behind it. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I guess you can't do super missile with the, that one. Okay, come on, super missile. Huh. Fascinating. That's weird. I don't. Oh, really... wait a minute. I actually have a vague memory of this box. It's like just not being able to break it. Oh, never mind. Okay, oh, that's apparently ironic. that's nothing then. That was a very Weird. special looking box, though. Yes, it was. All right, well, let's keep going. We apparently can't get the artifact currently. Hey, where, you, where is this taking you? Research lab ether. Okay. And yeah, my microphone's really driving me nuts at the moment. It's like, you know, watching it on the readout, it's either too loud or too quiet. It's never, you know, when it's good, it stays right in the middle of the yellow. But it's like right at the bottom or right at, the, or like, you know, a little bit in the green or really in the red. Your audio is even weirder because a lot of times you sound very loud for me. But then when I watch back the recording or the stream or whatever, it's like, oh no, your volume is perfect. Or sometimes even quiet. What is this? Is this thermal vision? That's, uh, that's a Metroid. Oh, cool. Oh yeah, that's the first one we've seen, isn't it? Yes, it is. What am I hearing walking around? Uh, uh, I couldn't tell you. Yeah. Someone's going for a jog. Metroid, energy-based parasitic predator. The dominant species of plant SR388, Metroids can suck the life force out of living thing. A Metroid will latch onto its prey and drain energy, growing larger as it does. The only way to shake and attach Metroid is to enter morph ball mode and lay a bomb. Good to know. Shit! That, that actually kind of scared me. Okay, then. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there they are. Okay, more jump scares. Cool. That's just all this room is. It's a panic room. Okay, yeah. apparently Buddy down there missed the commotion. He's just chilling. What just shot at me? Okay, I'm going to deal with them, now. I'm going to read logs. Figure out what the hell they were doing. No idea. Yeah, told you I could hear something like walking. Yeah, I guess you should have just looked out the window. What is that plant they've got in there? 
Is there supposed to be ice growing on their containment tubes? That seems unideal. Yes, it does. Oh, oh there goes another containment tube. Watch out for the Metroid. Wait. Ooh. Oh, uh, what room is this? Good question. This is... Why do I keep hitting the wrong key for map? Research Lab Aether. Okay. Okay, um... I'm gonna let you be for the moment. What have I been calling those things? Uh, energy tanks, I think. Probably. I forgot that that's what they're called. Is that an alarm, or what is going on? I don't know what that is. Very annoying. Yes, it is. Okay. What the hell were they doing to the Metroids? Are we shooting it up with Bazon or Heroin or whatever it is pirates do now? <laughs> uh, initiate transfer of meth Metroids to Talon for research facilities has been completed. Three were terminated in an incident at the landing site, but the others were pacified and transported safely. Initial phase on infusion testing is underway. We are eager to observe the effects of phase on on Metroids, especially their ability to absorb and process the energy given off by phase on sources. Early research suggests a considerable growth in power and size. Where the creatures stay stable thereafter <laughs> remains to be seen. Oh, what have we got? It, really? Right there. Okay. Only now you've discovered that the research lab is two rooms over. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Could have told us that a bit sooner. Alright, containment temperature stable at 3 degrees centigrade. Environmental diagnostic satisfactory. Turtle ordinance of Metroids seem to be lying, or limited to chaotic absorption cells and massive energy reservoirs. Okay. Metroid brain scan results in. Studies show accelerated activity in turtle. Low, wait. Studies Are show accelerated. at all lobe? No idea what lobe that is. I don't know if humans have that. Maybe. Uh, during hunting cycles at temperatures above right you gotta keep them cold uh, ah. to, uh otherwise uh they'll start being violent i was really sorry i was really hoping that when you when it said like brain scan of the metroids i was hoping it would the next page would be brain scans reveal they don't have brains they're just be funny, jellyfish yeah. uh the hooked mandibles of the metroid pantry the skin of its prey and siphon pure life force energy containment fields appear 100% effective after adjustments. I disagree with that statement. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, not... Temperatures <laughs> below 100, uh, 10 degrees centigrade will render Metroids docile. Again, it seems pretty damn cold in here, and yet I disagree with that statement. Yeah, it didn't seem too docile. No, it did not. The reconstruction of Geoform 187 codenamed Ridley, great, was recently completed after his defeat on Zebus. Command ordered a number of metagenic improvements for him. Though aggressive, we were able to implement these changes in a cycle. Uh, the metamorphosis was painful, but quite successful in the end. Early tests indicate a drastic increase in strength, mobility, and offensive capability. Silver neck modules and armor plating have been added as well. We believe our creation, now called Me Ridley, will become the mainstay of our security force. A job he will certainly relish. Great. I, I just love to give a guess. We've finally managed to piece together our general who kind of got blown to pieces on the last planet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, phase on fusion, stage six, subject Metroid. Subject's mass at 180% of previous phase on cycle, increasing dosage by 4%. Okay, that's the one I got already. Yes, yeah, stasis tank contaminated beyond accessible safety. 
uh, standards remove squad requested. Okay, well, a little late, guys. It's uh, already open. What is this? Yeah, what is I the giant can't... tree? Don't know. Hmm. As energy based creatures, Metroid show immediate mass increase upon energy absorption. Okay. Confidence is high regarding Fizon application. We know enough about Fizon now to begin combining it with space pirate DNA. Do you oh. know? You sure about that? Oh. oh no. The code for this uh, venture will be Project Helix. Uh, preliminary studies indicate that Fizon fusion could produce radical new pirate genomes. <laughs> uh, benevolent mutation levels are high in current test subjects. Fees on madness is a concern, but uh, refinements in the infusion process should reduce or neutralize the odds of mental degeneration. Cool. Who's volunteering for that project? Good question. You're going to pump all guards, full of glowing goo and hope you don't go insane. Yeah. Uh, all guards must use ice containment gear when transporting Metroids. This includes sedated specimens and those pronounced dead. Good, just just to be sure. In the event of a Metroid attack, repel creature with missile set to maximum concussion. Excellent, all right. Wait a minute. Ooh. How do you get, probably need the magnet ball, don't you? Oh, never mind. No, I don't oh, think This I is do. gonna be fun. Whoops, crap, can you see that? See what? Never mind. Oh. Um, I just acts. Okay, hold on. Let me disable that. I accidentally hit the Windows key. Oh, okay. Oh, this is not. Oh crap! The that's camera. a fun angle. Oh, this is so much harder with the keyboard. Ah. Okay. Holy shit! No. Nope. Almost okay. there. Almost. Oh. Don't blow no it right turn. at the end. It'd be very embarrassing if you did. Oh, okay, God. Ah, okay. <laughs> I don't think I was breathing that entire time. Yeah, breathing's overrated. Where are you? Oh, is this the same uh, place? Yeah, same place, uh, Ether. Okay, hold on, let's go back up there and see what uh, other interesting data we can come across. It's not the right tab. Um, there up, we go. Uh, nothing there, apparently. What about here? That's an elevator. Yes, it is. Uh, motion near Hunter Metroid BG appears to trigger psychotic episodes. I Lovely. get the feeling that was the one up top. Yeah. Um, personnel are to stay at least three meters away from Stasis Tank. Didn't do that, did you? No. Hunter Metroid DS is showing signs of increased instability and heightened immune to cold dampening fields. Oh great, you're removing the one weakness you can use to fight against them. All right. This place is jump scaring the hell out of me. Okay. Uh, Metroid dissection continues to provide more questions than answers. Our research teams have isolated the energy conduits that run from the uh, Base of twin mandibles to the energy core in the creature's quadri... quadri... what? Quadri... Paratite? Oh, whatever. A net nucleus. Paratite, uh, I think. Uh, Wait, I'm... I thought they only had three little things in their brain. Yeah, I don't know what the... There's probably a chart somewhere or um, a medical diagram. Uh, but the manner in which... A Metroid actually extracts a life force from its prey remains in our mystery. <laughs> the victim does not lose blood or any other vital fluids, yet the Metroid extracts energy. Identifying this energy is our central problem. It this... takes no physical form, and yet without it, the victim dies. Just so sucks the soul out of you. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, we will continue to research this matter as the isolation of this life-giving essence could be the key to our ascendance. 
quarantine specimen exhibits highly aggressive behavior. Its body structure composed of phazon ore appears nearly invulnerable. This has rendered our efforts to train and discipline subject useless. What subject? Wait, what? I wasn't really paying attention. What was that? Project type. Well, they're saying some quarantine specimen that has its body composed of face on ore is nearly invulnerable. And I'm like, okay, what exactly did you make? Project Titan is suspended indefinitely. Security breaches resulting in massive casualties have occurred. Access is strictly prohibited until further notice. I, get... I feel like that's uh, talking about the same mm, thing. Maybe. East Quarantine Cave has been secured. Specimen remains in the quarantine area. All experiments have been suspended pending pacification of area. Just plaster over the door. Pretend it doesn't exist. Hmm. Studies of Metroid biology continue, though with limited progress. It seems likely that we will be much more successful using the Metroids for our means rather than trying to reproduce their powers. If they could be adequately tamed, we would have no need of a proper understanding of their metabolism. A small force of uh, disciplined Metroids could wipe out entire armies, and once we find a way to shield them from cold containment weapons, they will be invincible. Furthermore, if we could then harvest the energy they'd consume, we would have a near limitless source of power at our disposal. Well, I'll give them this. The space parts are definitely a rather creative and ambitious bunch. Yeah. Metroid infused phase on uh, strain strain vertigo OR thriving. We feel they could be class 1 energy harvesters if proper submission methods are employed. Interesting. You're planning, what if we stop using them as weapons and just plug them into a power source? Turn them into batteries. This tank holds the remains of experiment uh, 7526. Conversion of elite pirate unsuccessful. Yeah, I would say so. That's that's a tree now. <laughs> Stasis tank uh, C012 is contaminated beyond accessible safety standards. Please remove immediately. It's like, what is acceptable safety standards considering they use caves for quarantine? Yeah, exactly. Sure, that one's friendly. You know what? Let's make sure the pirates don't have another one to use. Wait, can I not? There we there go. There we go. Durable one. There we go. Okay, that's dealt with. Guess down uh -huh. the door. Who stacks boxes on a door? I know. What, an, what about if there's someone? Wait a who, minute. Oh, isn't that the next area? I was just no. I was just gonna say, what you, what you just said earlier about plastering over the door. Oh, right. Fuck. Oh. Have we seen a ice one yet? Question. Uh, no, I don't think we have. Ice beetle. Yep. I, uh, ba -ba -ba. What you'd expect. Yeah, they're terrible at quarantine. Oh, this okay. Quarantine cave there. is full of bugs. They. Oh, there's another one don't actually secure it, they just pile boxes on it instead of locking it down. Okay, come on. Got him. Yeah, pirate safety standards are whack as fuck. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please press all of the buttons and follow me in all the places. Hope to see you next time. But until then, good night.